Pirates and here in New York. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the New York Yankees. Just about to get started. And pitching in this game, Garrett Cole. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. The pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And next for the Angels, Mike Trout. He's a guy who does it all. And first offering is fouled off. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound. Sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone. And when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Third. And the batter now, Jared Walsh. Jared. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA. And really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. Next offering is fouled back. Man, so close to the immaculate inning as that foul ball spoils it. He's pounding the zone right now, though. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. Bottom of the first, and here is Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. And that one fouled off. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. Trout makes the catch and a quick out number one. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup and with their ace on the mound today they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support and they'll see what they can do for him. Oh now this ball is driven into the left center field gap. Now he'll turn for second. And Aaron Judge cruising into second he's got a double. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And out of here! Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Here's Stanton now. That one hammered center field. That's back there. And it's gone! John Carlos Stanton goes deep, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. That is good. The third baseman. Center field. Makes the catch for the out. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Labor Torres.
says the opposite way. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Now here's Aaron Hicks. That one is hammered right field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A shot to the opposite field, and they add to the lead. It's 5-zip. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that, and that time, that ball was hit hard. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Adele under this one. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is that. We head to the second from the big ball. Second inning set to go. And now Anthony Rendon. The third base, number six. Five run lead after their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this ball game. Cruise to the finish line, but do it with intention. Swings and misses, one down. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Next offering is foul back. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get Otani for the out. Max Stassi comes up to hit. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And a foul ball. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And a pitch. And down on strikes. And that'll do it. Angels go down one, two, three. Bottom of the set. And stepping in for the Yankees, Kyle Higashioka. Sandoval back to work. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. A solo shot. And they boost their lead. It's 6-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. A new arm into the game, the righty, Andrew Wants. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. And 
Anthony Rizzo circles the bases. And they tack one on the board. It's 7-0. Just an excellent swing all the way around. And it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. Aaron Judge leads the yard, and they add a run. It's 8 0. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Now batting. The left fielder. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And it's out of here. Joey Gallo blasts one out. His second home run of the game, it's 9 0. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in the game. Just unbelievable at bats. And I tell you what, that hitting coach over there in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. One for one so far today with a solo now, homer in his that, first at bat. In the air, left side. March under it. Puts the squeeze on it. One away. Now batting. Third baseman. Here's Josh Donaldson. He's. Well struck left field. Way back. And that ball is out of here. Josh Donaldson leaves the yard. And they add on. It's 10 0. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went a long way. Jose Suarez gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Here's Glaber Torres. That one is absolutely belted back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Well, I think the wind ended up being a factor right there. It's whipping in from right field right now. So otherwise, I think that ball's out of here. And that one hammered. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends it out of here. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 11-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Here's the shortstop at the play. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. 0 for 1. He flat out to right this first trip. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Holds it in on the warning track. They bring 9 to the plate and 6. And welcome back. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Joe Adele. Well, every pitcher wants.
Wants to run support and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 yep. okay. now. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. And now it's Matt Duffy. Came after him with the foul. Fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. One down, base is empty. Ground ball to the right side, and that's just foul. And a swing and a miss, and there's two down. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. David Fletcher stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Angels go quietly there. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. The wind of the pitch. The catcher, Kyle. There's a swing and a drive. And in one hops the wall. into second easily with a leadoff double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. That one ripped. Way back there. That one is gone. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 13-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Aaron Judge at the plate. The right Aaron. And Judge spoils that one. And a pitch. Judge rips that one. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's Joey Gallo. Fought off foul. Next offering is foul back. Judge leads off second with nobody out. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. That was a moonshot. That's his third home run of the game. And they add a pair. It's 15-0. He's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. So the Angels turn to their bull swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. 
pulls it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Two outs, space is empty. Labor Torres up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that ball is gone. Glaber Torres goes yard. And they add a run. It's 16 to 0. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there. And I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that. And so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Taron Hicks now. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. His third home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 17 to nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Well, he went up there 0-0 oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So two away with nobody on. And the batter will be the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And that one is lifted in the air. Trout on the move to his right. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Three innings. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Brandon Marsh. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. The wide to kick the pitch. Right through there. Got him. And that's the first out. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a... fun at bat and all of a sudden you become in awe of this guy on the mound somebody's got to break this thing up that's five straight strikeouts got to put a ball in play Trout the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one next offering is in for a strike Mike Trout just a special player a special human does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field got him that's his second strikeout Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Walsh swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Strike two. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning! Back here at the ballpark, and now Kyle. Higashioka. Bradley back to work. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Rizzo now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. 
Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One out. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with him. Off balance speed, there's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. We go to the top of the fifth, and now Anthony Rendon. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Now oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's Shohei Otani. He swings and fouls one off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Got him! And that's nine in a row! This is incredible, singing nine straight strikeouts. I remember Jacob DeGrom, Pablo Lopez, Max Scherzer. There are a few guys to pull it off, but it is a rare feat. Just unbelievable, Boog. Just absolutely rolling out there on the mound right now. And if I'm not mistaken, I think 10 is the all-time record, right? Yep, you got it. Tom Seaver back in 1970 struck out 10 Padres in a row. And then Aaron Nolan Cor Three. struck him out. 10 straight strikes. And now it's Joey Gallo. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homered three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. So digging in, Josh Donaldson. And first offering is fouled off. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. And that's a double. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Torres at the plate now as he chases after that one. The next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Donaldson at second with two down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for the Yankees. Not something they've done much of as they leave. Top six. And yeah, the batter now, Joe Adele. Leading off for the Angels, the right fielder, number seven. Cole back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And the righty deals. And fouled off. And there it is. It's 11 consecutive.
consecutive strikeouts. History on display. What a moment. Matt Duffy getting ready to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. 0 oh and 2 as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. I oh, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. And first offering is fouled off. The Halos hitless so far in the game. Got him looking. The big righty strikes out the side. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Aaron Loop. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Duffy handles. Fires over to first, and Hicks is out. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees for the fourth time tonight. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Didn't quite have enough. Two outs, space is empty. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Jose Quijada getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, this guy on the mound understands that this batter is trying to take him deep. I think the key here is change speeds. Keep him off balance. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Top of inning number seven, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. The right hander back to work. Breaking ball through there for a strike. There's a strike. 0 and 2 now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now batting Mike Trout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And the 0-2. Right through there, got him. Two away down. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Walsh in the box again, takes a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Off the mark there. And the count is one and two. You know, he's been so great today. Really just 
throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And the right-hander deals. Here's a high chopper. Whips it to first. Walsh retired. And that'll do it. Angels held in. The pitch. Swang and a high fly ball in the air left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Tried to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Foul ball. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off, see if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. Into center. Trout on his way over. Makes the grab. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Joey Gallo. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And down on strikes. And the Yanks go quietly. Eighth inning coming up. Yankees out in front. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swings through that one. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Towards first, Rizzo collects it. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. And next for L.A., Shohei Otani. Next pitch has popped up. Donaldson settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Stassi stands in now and watches strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The Angels yet to pick up a hit here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that is that. And the Angels are gone in order. Out to the bottom of the eighth. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. The pitch. Strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And the pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Bangs off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. One's in the cage. You're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now, here is Josh Donaldson. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson. 
And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Here's Glaber Torres. Out there to center. Trout is there. Snags it for the second out. Here's Aaron Hicks. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. The Yanks lead one. Not something they've done much of as they lead it 17. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Joe Adele. Cole, back to work. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Duffy in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. The punch out there, two down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. He's one out away from a no-hitter. That one fouled off. A chance for the no-no right here. Foul ball there. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it! It's a perfect game! Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.